Hey, 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 Divas, you're listening to our daily devotion for the High Stepping for Health and Self-Love Sisterhood Challenge for the Divas of Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. And I am your host, Nicole Coach Twy Twyman, and I'll be sharing 10 to 15 minute devotions every day during the month of September. Our goal is to motivate black and brown women to move their bodies and practice self-love all month long. So let's get started, sis. Happy, happy, happy Transformation Tuesday, dear divas. It's our final Transformation Tuesday. I don't know how I feel about that. We're almost done. Today marks the final Transformation Tuesday of our High Stepping for Health and Self-Love journey. It, it is a day that we're going to reflect on the incredible transformations that have taken place within you. So I guess it's not so bad, right? Because we're, we are going to reflect on some good stuff. Uh, in fact, this past Soul Care Sunday, we asked you guys to post your transformation and your lessons learned from this challenge on our final Soul Care Sunday reflection post in our Facebook group. So make sure that you have left your comment under that post because we want to hear all about you. So share your transformation with us, sis. But let's get started today by reading today's affirmation. I am a new creation transformed by my journey. As I step into each day, I embrace the power of transformation within me. Today's Bible verse is brought to you today by 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, and I will be reading the New King James Version. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You know, I love me a good message translation. So 2 Corinthians 5, 17 in the message translation says, now we look inside and what we see is that anyone united with the Messiah gets a fresh start, is created new. The old self is gone, a new life virgins. Man, that's what we need, a fresh start. And the Bible says if anyone is united in God, we get it. Okay, that is what our key verse says. It speaks to the profound change that occurs when we are united with Christ. It's a reminder that as we walk the path of health and self love, we've not only improved our physical well being, but we've also undergone a transformation on a deeper level. That soul level, sis. Think about the changes you've witnessed during the challenges, the strength that you've gained, the self-love that you've cultivated and nurtured, and the determination that now defines you. Yes, you are a determined diva because you are posting daily. You are smiling in your pics. You are sharing your devotion, reflections, and you are determined now. That is uh, a new definition that you should take on and uphold. You are no longer a yo-yoer. You are no longer inconsistent. You are no longer a, I can't do this. No, speak those words as though they are, because they actually are. You are now a determined diva. We are on day 26. So if you are listening to this, reclaim who God has you to be, sis. You are a determined diva, sisters. It is a testament to your commitment and the incredible power of transformation that resides within you. All of it, all of what you've done is a testament. So I want you to reflect today because, you know, reflecting is healing. Reflecting gives us the power to move forward with more information. So we're moving forward better. Right. So let's reflect. What old things have passed away for you during this September? Right. Why do I ask it like that? Because Second Corinthians says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. And we just said that you are new. You are new creation. You are now a dedicated diva. Old things have passed away. So what old things have passed away for you during this September? What old habits? What old beliefs? What old limits? 
I know oh, I probably can't walk more than 2,000 steps a day. I probably can't walk more than 10. I probably can't walk more than 20. And even if I did, I couldn't do it twice. What old things have passed away for you? What new things have arisen in you during this step temper challenge? Who are you now? You are new. You are a new creation, sisters. Your transformation will definitely, has already inspired others to start. So do share. Make sure you're sharing. For if anyone is in Christ, he becomes new. and We're all new. Share that new, new with us, sis. I never like to close a devotion without saying the day's affirmation. Will you recite it with me? I am a new creation transformed by my journey. As I step into each new day, I embrace the power of the transformation that is within me. Let's go to the throne together today, sisters. Heavenly Father, on this final Transformation Tuesday of our journey, we thank you for the incredible transformation that has taken place within us. Your grace and guidance have led, led us to this very moment. And we stand in awe of the changes that we've witnessed in ourselves and the changes that we see happening in the women in the group. As we reflect on this past week's we recognize that we are new creations. We are new physically. We are new mentally. We are new spiritually. Those old doubts, those old fears, those old limitations have all passed away. They are replaced with strength. They are replaced with self-love. They are replaced with resilience. And we thank you, oh God, for walking this journey alongside us. Lord, we continue to ask you for your continued presence in our lives as we move beyond this challenge. May the transformation we've experienced inspire us to seek growth and renewal, renewal in other areas of our lives, in every areas of our lives. Thank you, God, for being our constant source of strength and transformation. It is in Jesus' name that all the divas pray. A Amen. Sisters, on this final Transformation Tuesday, celebrate the incredible journey that you've undertaken. We're not done, but we're almost done. You are a new creation this Transformation Tuesday, and the possibilities for continued transformation are limitless with God. Embrace this moment, my sisters, and step into the future with confidence and a renewed purpose. Until next time, my sweet sisters, have a fit, fine, and fabulous day full of transformation. Hey guys, thanks for listening to our fit, fine, and fabulous devotion today. We're so glad that you're here with us. If you've completed all of your steps for the day, make sure you post your selfie in our Fit, Fine, and Fabulous Facebook group and mark this lesson complete in our app. If you're not a part of this challenge but want free motivation, just join us in our Facebook group, Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. That's Fit, Fine with a Y, F-Y-N-E, Fabulous. Or follow us on Instagram at fit underscore fine underscore fab. Can't wait to connect with you.